Hey, how's it going everybody? This is Orchid MTG, and I'm back with an opening this time. Um, but before we start, well, first off, I have a Modern Horizons pack, and I have an Ikoria bundle. Um, I was debating splitting these up. I was even debating splitting up the bundle because I don't have a lot of money, so I was trying to make a couple videos out of it, but then I figured it was probably just best just to open the whole thing all at once. But, um... It's been a while since I made a video, and it's mainly because I I wanted to make a bunch of thumbnails and get, like, thumbnail templates so I can easily make thumbnails in the future. So that's kind of what happened. So, um, if you look on my videos, most of them have thumbnails now. So, so uh, yeah, that's good, I guess. And there's been a... Quite a bit of magic news. There's a new set coming called Double Masters. After they, after they already made a master set. After they said they would never make another master set. So that's interesting. And it looks like we have the rare on this. What? This is weird. Oh. <laughs> Guess I just opened it backwards. Okay. Don't mind me. Just go quickly through the commons. Good Fortune Unicorn, Everdream, Lonely Sandbar, and our rare. Ooh, a Giver of Runes. That's a nice one. Giver of Runes, that's good. And then we have, um. I love the art cards. Let's see which this one is. This is Chiller Pillar. I like the art cards, but we'll set them aside. And we'll put the Giver of Ruins on top. Don't want to mix up the two sets, so... Now... I don't really keep any of this packaging, so... Besides, like, the box, obviously. I like the bundles because of the box. But the storage box, I mean. Um, so, so, we have the storage box. We have something in here. A no-stealing card. And we have a... Um, this box. This box is pretty useless. Um... I, I don't know why they even make these boxes. If they just made them a slight bit bigger, then it's hard to keep everything on camera. Well, something fell out. If they made this a slight bit bigger, we can actually put cards in here, which would be awesome. Um, but as it is now, it's kind of useless. I, I, I don't know why they do it like that. But so first off, we have this cool dice. Spin down... Pretty cool, looks nice. Keep that over there for now. Oh, we have something over here. Let me just look at it off, off screen, okay. So we have some uh, tokens, I guess. That's pretty cool. Uh, just various stuff. Oh, I must have. Uh... And then we have, um. I think this is a foil land pack, and I think this is just a land pack. I don't open these. Uh, there's no point in opening them. Uh, if you want to go see them, go look at someone else's video. Um, and then we have 10 Ikoria packs. And I was going to split this up into maybe even three videos, but because I really don't have money to be spending on things like this all the time. So, so I was trying to make it last, but... But I said, you know what? What kind of guy would I be if I opened one-third of a bundle? Do these have a pull tab? No. Okay. And I'm not sure if you can get the Godzilla cards in, in regular booster packs. I think you probably can, but... Um, but I'm not sure. So we'll go through the commons a little bit. So Ivy Elemental, Proud Wild Bonder, 
Oh, did I miss an uncommon? I missed an uncommon. Okay. Kahira, the Orphan Guard. Not sure if that's any good. And we have a foil uncommon. And then we have more of these tokens. These ones are thinner than the ones that come in the in the box. The ones in the box are like cardboard, and these are like cardstock, as you can see. So uh, we'll just put that there. Okay. I almost opened it in front of my face. I feel like they do have a pull tab, but I'm not seeing it. And the cards are, they want to all be at the top when I'm trying to open it. Let's try opening it from the bottom. Yeah, that worked a little bit better. I'm really waiting for when... For when, um... They decide to put Magic Arena codes in the packs. It's gonna be a while before they ever decide to do that. But Pokemon does it, and they... they you know, they get by. Unpredictable Cyclone and some other stuff. Oh, picked up two by mistake. Now, I don't get to open a lot of product. So, generally, I buy singles. Um, and that's why you get a, some mail days every now and then. Man, this pack doesn't want to open. Let's try opening it the, uh, the safe way. Okay, right in the trash. Savai Crystal, Exuberant, Wolf Bear, Cunning Night Bonder, and a Titan's Nest. Looks like we have some more tokens. I may make use of those tokens, or I may just keep them together. I'm not sure, but... So we have an escape protocol. These piles are already messed up. Rooting Moloch, Cheatering Harvester, and a Ket Ketria Triome. And Foil Forest. I love foil basic lands. I'll always take those. I'll always be happy taking those. Okay, these packs are... I feel like other sets, they just rip open. And I've never opened Ikoria before, so I don't know. Maybe I just got a uh, tough, tough set of packs here. I don't know about any of the commons. Ah, uh, Zenith Flare, huh? My friend Char plays a deck with this card, and it's very annoying. Barrier Breach, Lord Dracus, and Mythos of Snapdax. Alright, so no Mythics yet. We're hoping for at least one. Um, I think we have five packs left. So half a bundle left. Again, these packs, man. They don't want to open. All right, I guess we're opening that the old-fashioned way. I don't want to. I don't want to bend any of the cards or anything. I don't plan on opening a lot of Icoria, but we haven't seen a um, a Godzilla card. I don't like. I said I don't know if they're in here or not. I'm hoping they are, but I wouldn't be surprised if they were only in the thing. Oh, here's our mythic. Shevel Bane of Monsters. So we'll put that right there. I'll have to take a look at that card, see if it's any good. It's green and black, which is a color combination I generally like. So, and I play some commander sometimes. So let me read that and see if I want to run that as a commander. Maybe make a budget deck. Cavern Whisperer. Cool. Uh, so maybe you can get the Godzilla cards. I don't know. This is this is awesome though. This looks sick. 
Steve Ellis artwork. Um, I'm going to put that with the foils. So you have Wingspan Mentor, Hornbash Mentor, and a Parcel Beast. Another cool one. And then Umori the Collector. It's awesome. Happy about those. Well, three more packs left. Let's see if they all open. I mean, usually these packs, they just rip open like this. But, you know. Because I remember I opened some Theros and they just flew open. I, I didn't have my channel then, but... Okay. Stormwild Caprador, Void Beckoner, and a Valiant Rescuer. Mythos of Eluna. Oh, got a sneeze. Sorry about that. I sneezed off camera. I caught it. Perfect time. Okay. Uh, you don't want to open either way, huh? These are some thick wrappers. Which I don't know if I like more or not. I'd rather just open the packs, if I'm being honest. Hoping for one Godzilla card. Oh, I see something back there. So we have a General's Enforcer. Poliwog Symbiote. Back for more, and a Luca Copper Coat Outcast. Cool. That's a nice looking card. It's another Mythic, too. So we did get two. So I'm happy with this. We got two. You know what? We're going to get this pack open. No, we're not. <laughs> okay. All right, this is the last pack. Evolving Wilds. I like Evolving Wilds. We might have a foil in this one. I feel like I see something shiny back there. Maybe just different card stock. So we have a Duskfang Mentor. Sanctuary Smasher. Bastion of Remembrance. Ruinous Ultimatum. And a Slitherwisp. So we got a foil rare too. That's awesome. So we got a pretty good box. That's like two Mythics foil rare. Um, I don't know if any of these rares that I got were any good. Um, I'll have to look them up. I think the triomes are pretty good. How much? Yeah, the triomes are pretty good. So, and we got, we got this mythic that has, you know, it's like, like a box topper mythic. So that's cool. I'm going to have to take a look at all those online and, and see how much they are and... Uh, hopefully we do well, but anyway, um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Next video we're going to do, we're going to continue with the raw card review. We're going to go to Antiquities, and then, yeah, we'll just start that. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, if you like the videos, subscribe. If you like them, hit the like button. Uh, and yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.